Okay, so this isn't really a video I would normally do. When I get corals in general, I'm not using this guy. I'm using my big esky. The old old mate Coleman came out today, but because we only got three corals, so it's going to be a lot easier to show you the exact process of how I drip and dip my corals. So let's do that. So first thing you want to do is obviously get your corals out. Now normally I would say be cautious of what water you get in your tanks. These tanks are actually quarantine systems, so I don't really care. All three in here, what this is for is obviously to get that water to the same temperature as that water. Hopefully not too cold, they only came for like a two hour drive, so it should be perfectly fine. We'll leave them in there for about 20-30 minutes and we'll start dripping them. So 20 minutes later we are back. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's Saturday night. This is like four or five hours later. I've got better things to do. We have set up our container. Normally I'd use something a lot more substantial than that, but we only have two tiny, three tiny little frags here. They ain't gonna take up too much space. We will now get these guys in there. I've got something good. Now you take this thing and you do this, I'm scared that I'm then this will happen and you can adjust your flow until your desired drip rate, either that or suck on the end of a, <laughs> either that or suck on the end of an airline and tie it in a knot, your choice. It's a good thing to note, not a bad idea to try and keep this airline above the water level, that way the drips will actually break the surface tension and oxygenate the water. I can just never get it to stay there, so yeah. I wait until three times the volume of my container has flowed through it to get them acclimated to my water. Next on the agenda is reef dip. Now this is my go-to first. I do have other supplementary dips to go with this depending on how bad the corals are. I dose this at about two mils per liter. And I do do this one for a full half an hour. 20 minutes into my timer and I will run this guy. We have Medicoral by Brightwell. I only put this in for a 10 minutes, hence 20 minutes. Obviously, if you have more sensitive corals, guys, you've got some acros, don't be dipping them for half an hour. They don't need it. There's not too much that can hide on them. These are zoas, they'll be fine. Also, throughout this process, you wanna be agitating the water, kind of blowing the corals off. If you can't do it with the power head, just be cheap and do it with a syringe or a turkey baster like me. Some tools for the next step that will help you along. We've got some scissors. You can also use coral cutters depending on how, let's say, frugal you are. We've got a scalpel here for scraping off all your stuff on the edge of your plugs and whatnot. And also a soft bristle, br soft bristle toothbrush. Bloody hell. That's for obviously getting in all your nooks and crannies and brushing all the crap away. Now's the perfect time to have a good inspection of this coral. Now we want to be checking for pests, obviously noxious algae, anything that's going to be a pain in my ass. We want to scrape, scrape algae off. That's what I have this razor blade for. Scalpel. And finally a brush with your toothbrush. Now you can use a hard bristle toothbrush depending on your mood. She's good to go. Once that's all done, give them a quick rinse and put them back in the tank and you are done. We have got some zoas that are freshly dipped, acclimated to our tank and looking happy. Also Rainbow Monty. That's it for today guys. We have got acclimating easy corals done and dusted, let's say LPS and softies. All the techniques you saw today would be rather effective on most of them types of corals. Some SPS, 
especially smooth skin acros of them sorts, you've got to be careful with dipping. They can be really sensitive. Shout out to Gallery Aquatica Wynnum. Cam and Anya are always a good time. I love going up there. Don't get the chance too much being that it's an hour and a half away, but we all do need to support local businesses through these apparent hard times. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope your tanks are doing well, and I will see you next time. Stay sexy, stay hydrated. Peace. Oh, no.